Danish royal prince Felix is likely to continue living in one of the royal residences, despite being stripped of his title, according to a source from the royal house. The 20-year-old has been stripped of the title by his grandmother Queen Margrethe, alongside his three siblings Prince Nikolai, 23, Prince Henrik, 13, and Princess Athena, 10. The news was announced on Wednesday, with a statement released by the palace that said, as of January 1, 2023, the descendants of His Royal Highness Prince Joachim will only be able to use their titles of Count and Countess of Monpezit, their previous titles of Prince and Princess of Denmark ceasing to exist. Queen Margrethe said she wants the four children, whose father is her youngest son Prince Joachim and whose mother is Alexandra, Countess of Fredericksburg, to live more normal lives. According to a source from the royal house, Prince Felix, who currently works as a model and is studying at Copenhagen Business School, lives in one of the residences at Amalienborg Castle, and that will not change, even as he loses the title of prince. Queen Margrethe of Denmark, pictured on the balcony at Amalienborg Palace, has stripped four of her eight grandchildren of the titles. According to a royal house source, Prince Felix, 20, pictured, will continue to live in the royal residence despite losing his title, picture here making his modeling debut in February by posing in a series of moody snaps for jeweler Georg Jensen's new Reflect collection. The royal household's communications department has said that both of Prince Joachim's sons will continue to be able to visit the castle, which they do regularly. Meanwhile, Prince Joachim has hit out at his mother Queen Margrethe the second's decision to strip his four children of their royal titles. Commenting on their reaction to the move to BT, Joachim said his children don't know which leg to stand on as their identity is removed, and questioned why must they be punished in that way. The prince, who is Margrethe's youngest son, said, I can say that my children are sad. My kids don't know which leg to stand on. Why should their identity be removed? Why must they be punished in that way? As of January 1st, Prince Nikolai, 23, Prince Felix, 20, Prince Henrik, 13, and Princess Athena, 10, will become counts and countesses, and will be known as their excellencies, it was announced on Wednesday. Pictured, the children with Prince Joachim and Princess Marie on September 11, 2022. Front, Queen Margrethe, middle row, left to right, Prince Vincent, Princess Josephine, Princess Athena, Prince Henrik. Back row, left to right, Princess Benedicte, Princess Isabella, Crown Princess Mary, Crown Prince Frederick, Prince Christian, Prince Joachim, Princess Marie, Prince Felix and Prince Nikolai in a portrait celebrating Queen Margrethe's Golden Jubilee. He also doubled down on his claim that he had only been told the news five days before it was made public, despite the royal household insisting the decision has been a long time coming. I don't want to engage in speculation and mudslinging, said Joachim. I am telling the truth. I was given five days notice. I was given five days notice of this to tell my children that on New Year's their identity will be taken from them. He added that in May, he was presented with a plan that his children's identity should be taken from them when each of them turned 25, to which he asked to be allowed to come back with my proposal. But he said he was given just five days notice that the decision was to be accelerated, adding, I am so sorry for my children. Prince Joachim of Denmark, pictured, has once again hit out at his mother Queen Margrethe the second's decision to strip his four children of their royal titles. The Danish royal family tree Prince Joachim's children Nikolai, 23, Felix, 20, Henrik, 13, and Athena, 10, will all be losing their titles on January 1, 2023. Meanwhile, Crown Princess Mary of Denmark defended her mother-in-law Margrethe's decision to strip four of her grandchildren of their royal titles, and suggested her own children's positions might not be secure. Australian-born Princess Mary, 50, is the wife of Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark, who is Queen Margrethe II's eldest son and heir. Their eldest son, Prince Christian, 16, is second in line to the throne behind his father Frederick. Frederick and Mary's four children, Prince Christian, 16, Princess Isabella, 15, and twins Princess Josephine and Prince Vincent, 11 remain unaffected by the monarch's decision as they are direct descendants of the future king. However, speaking in Copenhagen today, Princess Mary suggested that might not always be the case. We will also look at our children's titles when the time comes, she said in an interview with Extra Bladet in Copenhagen today. Today we cannot see what the royal house will look like when it is Christian's time, or when Christian's time begins to approach.
Speaking in Copenhagen today, pictured, Crown Princess Mary of Denmark has defended her mother-in-law Queen Margrethe's decision to strip four of her grandchildren of their royal titles, and suggested her own children's positions might not be secure. Australian-born Princess Mary, 50, is the wife of Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark, who is Queen Margrethe II's eldest son and heir. Their eldest son, Prince Christian, 16, is second in line to the throne behind his father Frederick. Pictured, Mary and Frederick with their children, from left, Isabella, Josephine, Christian and Vincent earlier this month, Prince Joachim, right back, 53, the youngest of Margrethe's two sons, said he was only given five days notice that Nikolai, left, 23, Felix, second from left, 20, Henrik, far right, 13, and Athena, second from right, 10 will have prince or princess removed from their titles, and will no longer be able to use his or her royal highness. Pictured with their grandmother Queen Margrethe, center, and Princess Isabella, behind Princess Athena, she also defended her mother-in-law's decision, saying, change can be extremely difficult and can really hurt. I think most people have tried but this does not mean that the decision is not the right one. She added, change really hurts, but as I said, it does not mean that the decision is not the right one. And I can understand that it is a very difficult decision to have to make, and also a very difficult decision to receive. Queen Margrethe, 82, who attended the Queen's funeral with Crown Prince Frederick, said she hoped the move would allow her grandchildren to shape their own lives without being limited by the special considerations and duties that come with a formal affiliation with the Danish royal family. The move has created an icy atmosphere within the royal family, according to one local media report and has driven a wedge between a seemingly united family. There has never been a public conflict between the Queen and Prince Joachim, Danish royal reporter Kent Madsen told FEMAIL. Indeed, they put on a united front just weeks ago when they celebrated Queen Margrethe's Golden Jubilee. Speaking at a function at the National Museum in Copenhagen on Wednesday night, pictured, Margrethe said, It is a consideration I have had for quite a long time and I think it will be good for them in their future. Prince Joachim of Denmark has said his four children have been hurt by their grandmother Queen Margrethe's decision to strip them of their royal titles as he spoke for the first time since the bombshell announcement. He was interviewed on Thursday morning in Paris, above. Prince Nikolai said that he is sad, shocked and confused after his royal title was stripped quickly. Pictured modeling during the Dior pre-fall 2019 men's collection show on November 30, 2018 in Tokyo, Margrethe defended her decision in an interview that night, saying, It is a consideration I have had for quite a long time and I think it will be good for them in their future. However, Joachim broke his silence on Thursday morning and claimed he had only been told the news five days before it was made public. Prince Nikolai and Prince Felix's mother says she's in shock by move to strip them of their royal titles Alexandra, Countess of Fredericksburg, Prince Joachim's ex-wife and mother to Prince Nikolai and Prince Felix, said she is in shock over Queen Margrethe II of Denmark's decision to strip her sons of their royal titles. Nikolai, 23, and Felix, 20, along with their younger siblings Prince Henri, 13, and Princess Aden, 10, from their father's second marriage, will all have their titles of Prince and Princess removed from January 1, 2023, the palace announced yesterday. We are all confused by the decision. We are saddened and in shock, Alexandra said in a statement from her press advisor Hela von Wildenrath Lovegreen, reported Danish magazine Sayog Hor. Earlier this month, Alexandra attended Queen Margrethe's Golden Jubilee celebrations at the Danish Royal Theatre in Copenhagen, pictured. The statement continued. This comes like a bolt from the blue. The children feel ostracized. They cannot understand why their identity is being taken away from them. Earlier this month, Alexandra attended Queen Margrethe's Golden Jubilee celebrations at the Danish Royal Theatre in Copenhagen. Prince Joachim married his second wife Princess Marie in 2008, and they later welcomed Prince Henrik and Princess Athena advertisement. It's never fun to see your children being harmed. They are been put in a situation they do not understand, he said in an interview with Danish news outlet Extra Bladet. I was given five days notice to tell them. In May, I was presented with a plan which, by and large, was that when the children each turn 25, it would happen. Now I had only five days to tell them. Athena turns 11 in January, he clarified. Prince Joachim, who is sixth in line to the throne behind his brother and his children, was speaking outside the Danish embassy in Paris, where he lives with his second wife Marie and their children Henrik and Athena. Nikolai and Felix, who are both models, live in Copenhagen.